I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Cardiologists at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine have devised a formula that estimates an individual's risk of dying based on their ability to exercise on a treadmill. For example, tripping, falling, and hitting your head on the handrail – a high risk. Feeling groggy after the daylight saving time switch? Scientists say you better watch out for micro-sleeps this week – tiny lapses in attention that can create problems at work and accidents on the road. And if you micro-sleep while microwaving a cup of instant coffee, you'll briefly end up in 1955. But you probably won't remember it because you were micro-sleeping at the time. A New Jersey appellate court says a man cannot seek damages for burns he suffered while bowing his head in prayer over a sizzling steak fajita skillet at an Applebee's restaurant. The man claimed a waitress didn't warn him the dish was hot, but the lower court found the food posed an open and obvious danger. Dude, you ordered fajitas at Applebee's. You can hear the sizzle all the way from the kitchen. Maybe during your next prayer over a meal, you might ask God for a few brain cells. A former substitute teacher convicted of showing the graphically violent and sexual movie The ABCs of Death to a high school Spanish class has been sentenced to 90 days in jail. Sheila Kearns said she had not watched the movie before showing it to her Spanish classes at Columbus's East High School in April 2013. This teacher has committed the ABCs of stupid. A, you don't show a movie to kids that you've never seen yourself, especially in a classroom situation. B, if you show a movie, any title ending in of death probably isn't appropriate. And C, what the heck does any of this have to do with teaching a Spanish class? Also committing the ABCs of stupid, an Iowa teacher stars in D is for Drunk. Iowa police arrested Carissa Bryant, a sixth grade teacher at Lenahan Intermediate School, after officers received a tip that she was teaching class while intoxicated. Chief Deputy Steve Hoffman says the incident happened on the same day a county deputy was at the school for D.A.R.E. anti-drug and alcohol classes. Hoffman adds, the irony is not lost. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news anytime, anywhere at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. You can join the Weird News Facebook group, download the free app for Apple or Android, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my newsletter, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and more. Check it out at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com.